Dr. Jen is back, and we're looking at a new study finding some positive advances for screening when it comes to breast cancer. Break this down for us. Yeah, so um, this was a very small study, 25 women with known breast cancer, just published in the journal Radiology Imaging Cancer, using a, a new type of imaging technique for breast cancer detection. We already use it for other types of cancer uh, called a PET scan, po positron emission technology. This, using that overlaid with a mammogram to look for metabolically active tissue, i.e. tumors, um, to therefore help reduce the rate of what we call false positives. Now, people have heard that term before. What that refers to is something either on mammogram or MRI or even an ultrasound that looks like it may be a cancer, but on biopsy turns out not to be. We care about that because that then triggers biopsies, which has a whole cascade of associated things that we're trying to avoid. So again, more research is needed for this, but this could possibly be a step that could help women avoid a biopsy when there's no cancer there. So good news in the world of breast cancer screening, possibly down the road. So if it was used to test for other cancers, why did it take so long to try it out now? Well, you know, we've said before, cancer is different every part of the body that it affects. And when you talk about screening, imaging tests for cancer, remember that that's just a visual image that has to be confirmed with a tissue specimen or a biopsy. So uh, breast cancer screening and confirmation is different than in other parts of the body. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.